So you're planning to join the Marine Corps. This is the video for you. Now, whether you have already signed a contract or have yet to sign a contract, this is probably ultimately the video that the recruiter are not going to tell you about. Or the recruiter is going to tell you things that may contradict a lot of stuff I'm going to tell you in this video. And if you're a Marine or half served in the Marine Corps, serving any sort of branch, go down in the comment section, confirm or deny what I'm saying, I'm about to tell you guys. But number one thing, if you're essentially about to walk into the recruiter's office, whether it's for the Marine Corps, the Air Force, the Army, any branch in general, the number one thing is you have to have a goal. You have to have a specific job in mind and you have to go seek that job. If you're going in for infantry, that's perfectly fine. But at the end of the day, you need to go in there with the goal. The biggest reason why I say this is because so many of us going to the office don't have a specific job in mind, sign a contract that doesn't tell you what job it is, which is considered ultimately an open contract, and then you end up with a bullshit job. That is the key. Always, always, always have a mission, have a goal, and have a purpose. Because those are things that you're going to learn through the military career, but you want to make sure you start fresh and start good in the, from, from the back. So. If you're planning to go into the military and have already signed a contract and whatnot, ask for a copy of it, look at what country you have, look at what the fine print is, and look at specific MOS. You can look up any MOS number on the online, uh, on Google, any online website in a sense. If you're joining the Marine Corps, you can go to the MarineCorps.net uh, website, put your MOS code on there, and it's going to tell you specifically what your job is. It's going to have all the manuals, it's going to have everything for you. So that's the biggest thing. But if you're a fresh, you know, high schooler, college kid, whatever it is, and you're planning to join the military and you simply want to know how to talk to the recruiter, the first thing is have a goal, have a job and have a skill set that you really want to acquire through your military career. So first thing first, once you have that goal and have that thing in mind and you go sit with a recruiter, he's going to sell you on a thousand different jobs, especially if you have a very high ASVAB. Because at the end of the day, recruiters, their job is to just pump numbers out and put you out on the contract and just kind of submit you up to the service. But during the time frame that he's submitting you to service, it might not be the time frame for you to be going for that specific job. Meaning that if you're trying to become an 0311, which is the Marine Corps equivalent of an infantryman, don't sign a contract that says 05 Bravo or some other bullshit number. You want to make sure that if your job and you want to be infantry, you let them know, I want to be an infantry, I want to be sent right now. And if they sign you to an infantry to tell you, hey, I'm sorry, we don't have any infantry open right now, you're going to have to wait until your you know, next cycle. Next cycle is fucking next month. It might be two months out, it might be three months out, but that's fine. Be patient. All you got to do is simply say, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to the next cycle. That's perfectly fine. Don't just be like, oh, okay, uh, let me see what other job is. Because this is really where you're going to fuck yourself in the asshole. It's part of my language. I know it's YouTube. might get bad for that, but whatever. Because at the end of the day, the biggest thing with this is a lot of us going to the government or going to the, which is basically government, going to the military, um, kind of assuming that you have to do what they tell you. That's not true. You, If you have a specific skill set, you have some college degree or you have something specific, don't just be like, oh, I'm not going to go officer because they don't have any opening until next year. Who the hell cares? Go and sign a damn contract for an officer for next year because you'd be surprised before they know it, they're going to send you three months from now because they have to fill that quota. They're just trying to sell you on a BS contract for you to go enlist it. It's happened to a couple of friends of mine that served with me, that had bachelors, that had hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt from uh, actually getting a bachelor degree. But they ended up getting paid $18,000 a year as an enlisted. So go in with an actual purpose, go in with a specific skill set that you want to acquire. Let them know, I want to be an infantryman, I want to be an MP, which is a police officer, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a, a pilot. Whatever it is that you decide to do, have and have a very specific goal. Now, not all contracts are open at, at, right off the bat. You might need to wait three, four, six months in order for you to cycle out into the field. And a lot of times it's very competitive because there's thousands of people trying to become a pilot. So there's very there's thousands of people trying to become a police officer. So there's a lot of different things that come into play. But you have to be very much have an, a goal and be oriented towards your goal. And if you want to be an infantryman, don't sign to be an admin or don't sign to be a supply. Go in and be an infantryman. Just the biggest thing with the contract is whenever they give you that paper that says, hey, here's your gonna be your MOS, it doesn't always have the actual name of it. It just tells you a little number and you're like, what the fuck is that number? Ask him, hey, what, what what's this job? What does it entail? What exactly does it do? And they tell you, oh, you just, you just tap on the keyboard. Oh, it's just an easy job. It's gonna be you're gonna be great. No, no, no. 
What does it do? Is that, does that have anything to do with infantry? Does it have anything to do with police officers? Does it have anything to do with construction? Whatever it is that your skill set is. And if they tell you a bullshit story, just walk out. That's the simplest thing, walk out. Because there's so many different branches that you can go to. At the end of the day, the biggest thing is you want to be specific to your contract. I don't want you guys to go in and do four years and be miserable. You guys have to go in and be four years and be proficient and have a real skill set that you can use on the outside world. That is the key thing here in this video is whenever you present it with a contract, make sure it says the actual MOS code, the name of the MOS, and then how much your bonus is, whether you're getting one or not. So those are the three key things, because if it doesn't say that, nine out of 10 times, you're gonna go in thinking that you're gonna be an admin or you're gonna think you're gonna be supply, but you end up as infantry, which is completely a full 360. Or you know you decide to go in as an infantry, but you end up doing a shoemaker or whatever other BS that you end up doing. So you always be aware of what your contract is. This is really the key thing. Contract, contract, contract. So once you're done with the contract aspect of things, you went in, took your ASVAB, and you got an awesome score. Let's say you got a 99 on the ASVAB. You have infinite amount of field open to you. You don't have a bachelor, you're a high school kid, don't have any specific experience, and the recruiter comes up to you and tells you, hey, you have all of this possibility, but we can psych you out next month going in as a supply. But that's not what you wanted to do. You wanted to be an infantryman, or you wanted to do uh, something completely different to what they're presenting to you. Be patient. Be patient to yourself, be patient to everybody else. Be like, hey, listen, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna do something else that's related within this specific field. And if they don't sell you that contract, or if they tell you like, hey, you have to wait until your next cycle, who cares? Wait until your next cycle. Just take, sign the contract that's specific to your skill set. I know I've repeated myself like 50 different times during this video, but, a lot of you have signing contracts in there and going into the military and become miserable for four years and get just, you know, make sure that you guys get something that you deserve. Make sure you get something that's acquired based on your specific skill. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe icon. And I'll see you guys next time.